Hey everyone, I'm Fletcher, head of product at Halp by Atlassian. Today we're going to be talking about Slack Connect and how you can use it to provide high touch support directly in Slack channels. And we'll talk about using Halp in those channels to manage and track all of the requests so that nothing gets lost. So let's start out with Slack Connect. Slack Connect enables Slack customers to connect Slack channels between different workspaces. So here I've got ABC Company and Maria from ABC Company just signed a great new customer, this exciting, fast growing startup called Dunder Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin, my workspace over here, is the customer that we're going to create a new channel and share that channel with. So we go ahead and create a channel. Let's call it customer ABC Dunder Mifflin. And you can see we have this box checked to share this outside of our Slack workspace. Once we've created the channel, we can copy this share link and send it to the customer. The customer then opens up this share link. And when they do, they'll see the option to accept your Slack Connect invitation from their company. They'll select their workspace, choose if they want a public or private channel. We'll go public for now and they can name the channel something else on their side, but we'll leave it as the same name that I used over here, and they can go ahead and join this channel. Once they've done that, it'll open up Slack, and it'll wait for the approval of this shared channel request. So now the admin of your Slack workspace, in this case, Maria is also our admin, she gets this little message with the option to approve the shared channel. Once she hits approve, this channel has now been created. So if I go over, you can see that in both uh, the ABC company workspace, as well as in the Dunder Mifflin workspace, we have this channel uh, between the two of them. And Maria can post in here, welcome Andrew, so glad to have you as a customer. wanted and Andrew can say great to be here after some great conversation and getting to know each other it's likely that your customers are going to start asking questions that you want to track in this channel and you don't want those questions to just get asked and then go off into the ether and, and not get managed this is where help comes in help is a conversational ticketing solution purpose-built for slack you can hop in to this channel and actually, if you've added help already to your Slack workspace, which we have in this case, you can just invite the help bot directly to your channel. What this will then do is automatically link this channel to one of the help queues that you have set up. We just have one default queue in this case, so it's been automatically linked to that queue. Now, when Andrew goes in and asks a question, Andrew says, hey, we have an issue with logging in right now. At this point, either Andrew or Maria can go in and just hover over and add the ticket reaction to this message. And when they do that, what'll happen is a ticket will actually get created inside the thread of this message. So you can see on Andrew's side, Andrew sees that a ticket has been created, it's ticket number two, and the ticket uh, requester has automatically been set to Andrew. Maria can also see that thread, but she also can hop over into her triage channel in Slack, which she set up before with help, which is her one central place for all her questions from all her different customers to come into. So she doesn't have to be popping into all these different channels. She can see all her requests in one place. So we can see ticket number two here as well. And if we open up the thread of this ticket, we can actually reply from our triage channel and say, hey, uh, Andrew, we are on it. And when I reply here, you'll see that Andrew sees my response and Andrew can say, awesome, thank you. And Andrew's response as well will sync back between our two threads. So this is great. We can manage all our requests. We can even edit this ticket, assign it to somebody else, change fields, statuses, everything right from Slack. We, we can manage our entire request without having to leave Slack. The request is also tracked in the Help web app. So if I were to open this up, you can see the same ticket and it's visible here in the Help web. 
So if you're managing a lot of different tickets, or maybe you just prefer to work out of this interface, you can also do that. Say, hey, Andrew, it's me from the web. And my response here is also going to sync uh, instantaneously over to Slack. I can edit fields, all of the traditional things you'd expect to do out of a ticketing system. The help web is also where you manage your fields, forms. You can have this customer um, automatically request to have a form pop up when they're creating a ticket. Um, you can even have that customer's questions deflected and have automatic responses to them by creating help answers. So that just gives you a little taste of how Slack Connect works, how you might use it to interact with customers and partners and other folks, and how you can use help to manage and track requests across your Slack Connect channels. Enjoy.